Hey, little sister. Hey. Where's Gus? He's not with you? No, why? Oh, because Eden's been calling like crazy, and uh, she seems really upset, so what's going on? Long story. Mm. Well, I guess. So I take it you don't mind her calling, uh, just as long as that is from far, far away? <laughs> <laughs> I wish. <laughs> Eden's back in Springfield. What? Come on, pulling some more dirty tricks? Interesting you should choose the word tricks. Hmm. Another long story? Another long story. I got a question for you, Frank. All right. What if I weren't your sister? What? I mean, what if, what if you found out that you and I weren't really brother and sister? Do you think that would change how things are between us? So, I was thumbing through the Springfield phone book this morning. Letting my fingers do the walking. Kiki, my friend. Like I was saying, there's a new biz in town. Garden of Eden. What's up, man? I'm thinking florist, right? But the ad says for the discerning gentleman or lady. So I, glass? I gave the place a ring. Turns out it's an escort service. Thought it'd be a great opportunity for you, Mole. Yeah, well, I am escort material. I know how to show a lady a good time. No, 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 no. no. Who's going to pay you for a date, Molly? I'm thinking you'd be the one buying. Ha, ha, ha. Dude, it's Frank. I think with the kind of in town, you may not have to bring that blow-up doll as your date for spring break this year. Dude, I'm shutting you up with a commercial. <laughs> well, 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 well. Forget Mr. Big League himself. So can I get my glass of water now? Well, I don't know, Shane. Shall I put that on your charge? Since when do I have to pay for tap water at company? Well, you know, you ordered up that big truckload of desserts at the country club the other day, left me with the tab. I told the waiter to put it on my family account. Uh-huh. Well, I'd consider speaking up a little next time, because apparently nobody heard you. Oh, no. Are you serious? Yeah, you know, don't worry about it, though. Ben showed up and saved the day. Good thing for you he showed up, too. If he hadn't, I'd probably still be at the club washing dishes. You know, maybe money isn't everything when you have some, Shane. It's just when you don't, you know, it's a different story. Like, that waiter just totally embarrassed me. Marina, I'm so, 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 so sorry that happened to you at the club. Mm -hmm. Listen, I promise I'm totally going to make it up to you, okay? Yeah? Uh-huh. I don't really think you're going to have time, though. Why is that? Because you need every spare minute to be working on your pitch in motion, wild thing. <laughs> I did a little research and checked out your stats from summer season. Your walk numbers were a little bit high. You looked up my stats, Yes, huh? I did. Yes, I did. Because I only transferred to Springfield High last year, so I wasn't quite up to par with the baseball legend otherwise known as Shane Lewis. So and? I wanted to see for myself if you were uh, really worth the hype. And? And I look forward to seeing that pitch and arm in action. Hi, Shane. I'm so glad I caught up with you. Hi, Marina. Hi. <laughs> What's up, Jamie? How are you doing? I'm writing this article on the baseball team for the school newspaper, and the buzz around the locker room is you're the man this season. Are you the man, Shane? I guess I am. Yeah, I hate to break your heart, Shane, but I am not jealous. Right. You are so, Dude, so jealous. Dude, I am so not jealous, but you happen to have, like, major leagues stamped right across your forehead, and you're about to get some serious attention from some real press, and you're going to need me. Okay. Why am I going to need you? Because I was born to be a star, and handling the media comes naturally to me. <laughs> you know what? If you're that desperate to hang out with me, just okay, ask. Okay, first of all, you will never again use the word desperate in my name in the same sentence. You know, while we are laying down some ground rules, you should also know that I am in love with Ben and that you and I have strictly a business friendship. Strictly a business friendship, huh? We'll hammer out the details later. All right, one question. Shoot. I get the benefit of your media expertise. Yes, you do. What do you get? Well, it's for me to know and you to find out. <laughs> 